Hello, this is Dr. Paul Kim, and I am going to describe the modified Brostrom internal brace repair. As you can see in this video, it is the FiberTac suture anchor, which is a anchorless suture anchor, and the description will be shown in this video here. So the typical modified Brostrom is performed by incising the scar tissue of the anterior talofibular ligament. We then use the FiberTac suture anchor to put in our anchorless all knot suture anchor. I place one above and below where we will also be placing our internal brace. As we advance the FiberTac suture anchor, we unload the backside and create axial traction. And it's hard to really depict in this video. However, if you pay attention to the tip of the suture anchor, as you pull back, the suture anchor creates a slight bigger knot preventing it pull out. This is again repeated superior to where we will be placing our internal brace limb. And this video depicts placing the fiber tag suture anchor above the internal brace limb, which will be shown in the next step. The good thing about the FiberTac suture anchor is that it is an anchorless system which creates a smaller hole into the bone. By creating a smaller hole, there is less postoperative pain and the footprint is also smaller. Also again, you can see if you pay attention to the tip with axial attraction, the tip of the anchor becomes larger preventing pullout. After this, then we will proceed to place our internal brace. The internal brace I like to compare as a seatbelt that allows motion, prevents motion to be beyond a certain physiological point. Uh, this allows for faster rehabilitation after surgery. And here you can see drill and tap for the internal brace. The internal brace is in a fixed. And then you proceed with the modified brostrum repair as can be visualized in this where we pass the two limbs of each fiber tag suture anchor to capture the native ATFL, which is anterior talofibular ligament, and the inferior extensor retinaculum, classifying this as the modified brostrum. As you tie these down, the foot is held at maximal eversion. Then the foot is allowed to rest in physiologic equinus position. And this is when the internal braces are fixed. So it is fixed at a different tension. Again, this is a seatbelt, such as a backstop to prevent motion beyond a point of injury. And this is just showing as we are putting the limb of the internal brace, you have to measure it. And the hemostat you see there is making sure that you do not over tighten this. As the internal brace is affixed, again, it is at a different tension. And again, the foot is allowed to rest in physiologic equinus position. Once this is had, then the two limbs of the internal brace can be incised. Sometimes you can augment it by bringing it down into what we call the CFL, which is a calcaneal fibrofibular ligament footprint.